Ecclesiastes 5, guard your steps when you go to the house of Yahuwah, and draw near to listen rather than to give the slaughtering of fools, for they do not know that they do evil. Do not be hasty with your mouth, and let not your heart hurry to bring forth a word before Yahuwah. For Yahuwah is in the heavens, and you on earth, therefore let your words be few. For a dream comes through the greatness of the task, and a fool's voice is known by his many words. When you make a vow to Yahuwah, do not delay to pay it, for he takes no pleasure in fools. Pay that which you have vowed. It is better not to vow than to vow and not pay. Do not allow your mouth to cause your flesh to sin, nor say before the messenger of Yahuwah that it was a mistake. Why should Allahim be wroth at your voice and destroy the work of your hands? For in much dreaming and many words there is futility. But fear Yahuwah. If you see the oppression of the poor and denial of lawfulness and obedience in a province, do not be astonished at the matter. For a higher than the high is guarding, and there are higher ones over them. And the increase of the land is for all. The king himself is served from the field. He who loves silver is not satisfied with silver, nor he who loves wealth and increase. That too is futile. With the increase of goods, there is an increase of those consuming them. What advantage then is there to their owners but to look on? Sweet is the sleep of a laborer, whether he eats little or much, but the plenty of the rich does not let him sleep. There is a sickly evil I have seen under the sun. Riches kept for their owner, for his evil. But those riches perish through evil use. And he brings forth a son, and there is naught in his hand. As he came naked from his mother's womb, so he returns to go as he came. And from his labor, which goes into his hand, he takes none whatsoever. And this, too, is a grievous evil. Exactly as he came, so he goes. And what gain has he, since he toiled for the wind? All his days he also eats in darkness, and with much sorrow and sickness and wrath. See what I have seen. It is good and pleasant for one to eat and drink, and to enjoy the good of all his labor, in which he toils under the sun all the days of his life, which Yahuwah gives him, for it is his portion. Further, when Yahuwah has given any man riches and wealth, and permitted him to enjoy them, and to receive his portion, and rejoice in his labor. This is a gift of Yahuwah. Though it not be much, let him remember the days of his life, because Yahuwah bears witness by the gladness of his heart. Two songs come to mind here, Money, by Pink Floyd, and Tis a Gift, a shaker song you chose your fate. Money, get away, you get a good job with more pay, and you're okay. Money, it's a gas. Grab that cash with both hands and make a stash. New car, caviar, four-star daydream. Think I'll buy me a football team. Money. Get back. I'm all right, Jack. Keep your hands off of my stack. Money. It's a hit. Ah. Uh, don't give me that do-goody-good bullshit. I'm in the high-fidelity first-class traveling set, and I think I need a Learjet. Money. It's a crime. Share it fairly, but don't take a slice of my pie. Money, so they say, is the root of all evil today. Or, tis the gift to be simple, tis the gift to be free, tis the gift to come down where we ought to be, and when we find ourselves in the place just right, twill be in the valley of love and delight. When true simplicity is gained, to bow and to bend we shan't be ashamed. To turn, turn will be our delight, till by turning, turning we come round right.